The American Frame SB11 Shadow Box Frame. Start off with the matte board color of your choice, foam core backing board, and plexiglass. You will also need a shadow box frame cut to size and hardware. For tools, we recommend an anti static whisk brush, an adhesive tape gun, screwdriver, ruler, and protective gloves. First run in a crisscross pattern the adhesive tape on the surface of your backing board. Then fill in the remaining areas. Now place your mat board on the surface of your foam board, line up and smooth thoroughly with your hands. Now we will lay out the buttons we want to frame. Out of scrap foam board, we cut squares to help support our buttons. Take two foam squares and adhere them together. Put adhesive on the front and back of the foam squares, then push it firmly on the back of your button. Now center and attach your first button. Always carefully measure as you go. Repeat this process until all buttons are firmly attached. Now you're ready to frame. Start off by attaching your frames together with your corner hardware. Slide the hardware into the tracks of your frame corner and tighten firmly. Attach three sides of your frames together, put the hardware in your top piece and set aside. Now with your anti-static artist brush in hand, clean your work surface thoroughly. With your protective gloves on, proceed to peel off the protective paper from your plexiglass. If you see any additional dust on your work surface as you're peeling, you can always use the protective paper from the plexiglass to clean it up. Flip your plexiglass over and proceed to peel the other side. And remember always keep your hands on the protective paper till the end. Now prepare the buttons for final framing by making sure all dust particles are removed. Carefully place and align your plexiglass on top of the buttons mounted to the mat board. This is a good time to do your final inspection to make sure all dust particles are removed. Now carefully and simultaneously insert your plexiglass and mounted buttons into the upper and lower tracks of your shadow box frame. Now you can attach the final frame section. Make sure all corners are thoroughly tightened. Insert your spring clips by pushing forward, down, then in. Now add your protective wall bumpers. Now attach your wire by measuring one quarter of the frame's vertical length from the top. Run the wire through, twist both ends till tight. When completed, you'll have a beautifully framed display for all to see. Thanks for watching this demonstration video and many others available here at AmericanFrame.com. Love your art, frame it right.